Today we are going to make a colorful side salad that's perfect for any occasion. Like how you get to see all the cameras, all the directors, right? you know, everyone see this morning. Moving today. It's all moving around, <laughs> moving lots of moving parts today. <laughs> Chef Kate Luloff is back from Jones Dairy Farm to demonstrate how to make this bacon ranch pasta salad. It looks delicious and is packed with a rainbow of veggies too. Yeah, that's <laughs> Great right. to see you, Kate. Nice to see you too, ladies. I love how colorful this is. I love the smell of bacon in the morning. <laughs> Cool. Bacon's like choking me up. Uh huh. <laughs> it smells delicious. Good. Well, everybody loves the smell of bacon. Everybody loves bacon. Most everybody loves bacon. If you don't love bacon, I don't know if I can. Something wrong you. with you? Yeah. <laughs> if I'm you not don't sure. Don't love bacon. I can't yeah. trust you. No, I back off a little bit. <laughs> yep. so. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful rainbow of colors. You know, you eat with your eyes first, so if it looks mm -hmm. pretty, you're more willing to taste it. So we've got some fresh veggies. Um, we've got some bow tie pasta that we have cooked up. We're going to make a little um, buttermilk ranch dressing with just a little bit of a kick with a little sriracha in it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then, of course, the... Uh, Wonderful cherry wood bacon that's just finishing cooking on the stove. So yeah, what's that? What's the deal? This is dry aged. What does that mean? This for is bacon? dry aged, absolutely. So it is um, smoked and cured. It's smoked with this is the cherry, so it's smoked with the hardwood chips that they get very locally. Real um, hardwood. Real hardwood, never liquid smoke. Um, and then after it is smoked and cured, then it's hung in the aging room for up to weeks so that um, all of that flavor intensifies and it has wow. that perfect combination of smoky and sweet from the cherry. So mm, mm, mm. smells so, yeah. good. Yeah. Um, are you a fan of doing bacon on the stove top like we're doing it today or do you like um, putting it in the oven? You know, I always do it in the oven. Um, it's just, it's easier, it's less messy. Mm -hmm. When I'm doing it for a recipe like this where I can cut it up ahead of time and for something like this, I do like to cut it ahead of time just because I think it cooks a little more evenly when you're doing it that way right. on the stove. That's you don't smart. Have, I've never done that before. And you don't have to watch it every second. You know, yep. you can walk away and then move it around a little bit. Um, but otherwise, in full strips, I always do it in the oven. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, for sure. Is this bacon? Because I know a lot of the Jones products are found um, in the freezer section. Is Correct. the bacon in the freezer section too? The bacon is going to be in the refrigerated in the section refrigerated. by the deli meats. Okay, good. Usually down on the end of all the deli meats. Right. Um, and that is, yes, that's a refrigerated product. Like you said, all the sausage, those mm -hmm. would be in the freezer because there's no nitrates, no preservatives, nothing in the sausage that would um, prevent it from from spoiling if it wasn't because it's so fresh. So, mm -hmm. so we have to keep it frozen to keep it fresh. Okay. So, so in terms of assembling it, does the bacon mm -hmm. need to cook a little bit more? Just for first? just for a minute. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and we can talk about the other ingredients. Mm. We're going right, to mix them in that. this bowl. Okay. So we've got the bow tie pasta. If you, you want me to wanna, dump absolutely. all of it in? Yep. You can okay. Do that. So we've got the bow tie pasta. Okay. And then do you we rinse have it in cold water after it's cooked. I do. Okay. I do. Okay. Yep. And if you want, if you're going to cook it ahead of time and store it, <coughs> I usually drizzle just a little bit of olive oil to keep to it keep from it sticking. So it can separate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. So then we've got some uh, fresh broccoli. Look okay. how green which that is. is. Did you steam yeah. it? And I did. I blanched it. Okay. And that's and that's the point of blanching it is just to keep it uh, to bring out that color. You're not. So you don't want to cook it. You just want to dip it in the boiling water for about 45 seconds. And you're leaving these pretty big in terms of the salad size-wise. You're not chopping them up. I did. I mean, you can chop them smaller if you want. I think with this salad, it works better if you have the bigger pieces. Mm -hmm. okay. So then we've got, and hopefully everything's going to fit in the We're going to pile it. I know. Yeah. You know what? We're I can make take a, a little bit of the pasta Sure. We can take some. Give me that bowl there, Or too. we can put it back in that white bowl, too. Okay. I'll just take Are a little bit of it out. Are you going to make a smaller version? Yeah. Sure. Just make a slightly smaller, smaller version. version. <laughs> Oh, I thought so you were I'm making me a smaller version. You don't, version know, you don't want to do the, uh, the old Italian I just want to make sure I have room for every, yeah, Get exactly. the pasta all over. Mm. <laughs> then we've got some orange pepper. Okay. For some color and some crunch. Uh, cherry tomatoes, which I almost always leave whole, and that's because if you cut them, um, the acidity from the tomato is going to, you know, um, infuse the rest of the pasta. Did you guys, with, with spaghetti pasta, did you as a kid always test it by throwing it on the wall? Oh, yeah. And that's that, how was the, that was Does the it work part. with bow tie? Do we need to try it? <laughs> Can try I try it? See it? If it works. Oh yeah, I'm gonna try it in the back here. All right, should Ready? I do the cheese? We can do the Ready? cheese. Yep, okay. and I use sharp cheddar. That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> Pasta's ready. So okay. sharp cheddar. <laughs> sharp cheddar, and then uh, the bacon is just about done. So if you want to give that a little bit of a toss, Molly, and okay. then we will uh, mix the dressing up for this while this okay. drains. Toss that salad, Molly. So I'm trying. Bacon is cooked. You're just gonna drain that on the plate. Okay. And if you need to know where to find this bacon. Um, it's available in the cherry wood, and also there's a delicious hickory flavor that's Over available. Over the cherry wood. Yeah, cherry wood yeah the, is the cherry wood is a little bit sweeter. The hickory obviously is going to be a little bit smokier. Mm. Okay. Um, you can go to JonesDairyFarm.com. There's a product locator on there, and that will tell you. You put in your zip code, and that'll tell you Lucky's. which stores will carry it. So um, you don't have to go looking for it. You know right where it is. All right, mm -hmm. we've got. We're running out of time, so we've okay. got to make the dressing. Okay. So the bacon is here. We can okay. dump that in. All of it. All of it. All okay. of it. Yum. The dressing is just a simple oh gosh, so good. mayonnaise, buttermilk, 
Kay. recipes on the website for this. Okay. A little bit of uh, ranch dry mix. Dry, dry ranch mix. Yep. Okay. A little bit of dry mustard yeah. and a little bit of sriracha. Oh, really? Yeah, that's going to give it the kick. A little bit of kick and it'll give it just a little bit of oh, color. It's going to be yummy. Everybody's going to want this recipe. Up. And with a homemade dressing like this, nothing better. Okay, I'm going to let you finish that up. I want to make sure that people salt. see your website. Um, again, because the, the name mm -hmm. of the recipe is the Bacon Ranch Pasta Salad. You can see it there pictured. Go to jonesdairyfarm.com. You can also find out where to find Jones Dairy Farm products, which grocery stores carry it by going to that website, too. You can find out all about it. Oh, my gosh. Right, again, look it's at the Bacon Ranch Pasta Salad. And now we're going to oh, toss that it up. Oh, looks so good. It's delicious. Thank you, Kate. Thank that you. looks so good. Save some bacon out too. Look at how <laughs> yummy that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love it. All right.